Ahoy hoy, and welcome back to another SCP game. Wait, really? Look at this. We're definitely in an SCP Foundation facility. And that's definitely Dr. Sumerian, or at least some version of him. Look at this. What is this? I don't know. Ugh. It's an interesting game, though, isn't it? I think most of you... Anyone... <laughs> anyone familiar with uh, GTA... Fair enough. I think anyone who's particularly familiar with GTA 5 will actually recognize this for exactly what it is. GTA 5. Uh, but I, you know, you got so much character customization. Uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> nope. Not right now. Doing my intro. <laughs> I, uh, I've actually had a lot of opportunities to, uh, I did. This is like the last major property I bought in this game, and I didn't realize how close it was to the uh, SCP Foundation as a like style. But uh, pretty cool stuff going on here. Unfortunately, I don't have much else to show you because I just bought the base facility. But uh, let's see, <laughs> let's leave. All right. Um, this is GTA 5. I've been playing a little bit. The only reason I'm only gonna play it once uh, for as a video, unless there's some sort of strange, like overwhelming outcry of people wanting to see more of it. But um, <clears throat> I'm teleporting to my uh, my apartment in Los Santos. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna play it a little bit. Talk about why I got banned from all contests ever. That seems like an appropriate game for that. <laughs> I actually did this once before. No, hold on. Why not? So I actually played through this a uh, little bit uh, on a previous one, and I realized that this microphone right here... Screw that guy. Uh, I realize that this microphone right here is actually, at least for what I'm doing right now, until I get a lapel mic, is probably, it not probably, is certainly so much higher quality than that, that I decided to re-record everything. But, uh, yeah, we're going to do a little bit of cash farming uh, until the battery goes dead on my camera, which also happened last time. Uh, so, <laughs> I'm going to try to keep this in the 20 to 30 minute range because I only recently bought it and I haven't purchased backup batteries yet which I'm gonna do uh, on the first when I get my patreon money the important part is that this microphone here will work for this in in a pinch uh, for what we need it to do so first of all let's get started on actually making some money today because apparently there's a uh, some bonus cash for the one of the types of missions that I do today, so we're gonna do that. But uh, even when I did it normally and grinded out cash that way, it was actually still pretty profitable. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of SCP <laughs> themed stuff. And oh, ah, that, that was the one other thing I wanted to show you. Actually, my desktop background. That's not what I wanted to show you. Hold on, I'll get to, <laughs> I'll get there eventually. Uh, uh, come on. Uh, uh, uh. All right, there we are. No, wait, that's the bank. That's not my apartment. Hold on. We'll, we'll, we'll figure this out. All right. So, if you look at the vehicles, you can see the SCP logo there on the side. I actually chose this crew because they had the SCP logo that I wanted. Because, like, there are other crews that had, like, an SCP logo with a white background. And that felt kind of wrong somehow. This is this used to be my workhorse for running missions, until I was able to run enough missions to afford that thing back there. <laughs> well, to afford a nightclub, then a terabyte, then that thing back there, which uh, was quite a lot of additional costs. Anyway, that's not important. Oh, if you wanted to add me as a friend, I suppose that uh, this would be the name you need to look up. I don't know how that works. Yeah, that is my whatever. Anyway, let's talk about why I got banned from all contests since everybody. Well, you know what? We'll talk about that in just a moment. First, I want to. I wouldn't want to do that. I would. That would definitely not be advertiser friendly. Turned off all the music in this game too, so that I could actually do this without getting copyright struck. 
But uh, what I ended up doing uh, last video was going through the comments because I still have manageable comments. Robbing bank robbers. Yeah. Yeah, there's never one on the Great Ocean Highway. Thank God, I hate going all the way out to Route 68. I'm only going to do like one run through here because I only have about 20 to 30 minutes. So this will be the only time I do this mission. Hopefully it's in Del Perro, which is where most of my stuff is. Nope. That means it's in Vinewood? I think it is. Some of these, it's never in some of these. Palomino Avenue, Vespucci. I think it does sometimes show up in Vespucci Boulevard, but I could be wrong. Regardless, it's in Vinewood. I guarantee it. Yep, there we go. So, what ends up happening uh, is I looked through all the comments of my last video, and obviously since it was a face reveal, even though I never hid my face in the first place, uh, people had a lot of comments about my face. Uh, first of all, these black circles underneath my eyes are not from a lack of sleep. Um, I've had them since I was a child. They just... Uh, it's just me, man. It's just me. What? Uh, it doesn't matter how much sleep I get. They do get worse. Much, much worse if I don't get enough sleep. And, uh... Oh! You completely forgot. I was gonna say, that light actually makes them not as bad, I think. If uh, there's no shadows going on. Completely forgot to turn my lighting set up on because I'm an amateur, apparently. I'm still getting used to this. But, um, yeah, so there was a lot of comments about my appearance, about as many of them as I thought would be like, oh, yeah, you don't look anything like I thought you'd sound. You don't look anything like you sound, which I, I don't really know what that means, but I mean, it's one of those things that's like you just kind of know. And since I don't just kind of know, it's kind of, uh, all right, now that we triggered that, we'll get the minigun guy to come outside. All right, there we go. Minigun guy is gone. Well, he's not gone, but he's dead. So now we can get into this bank. Yeah, don't worry about it. So anyway... Yeah, um... You know, I actually bought a Dr. Sumerian, uh... Well, a black shirt. A black button-up shirt, long, long sleeves. Uh, and a yellow clip-on tie, which, by the way, the SCP Foundation staff would all be using clip-on ties because otherwise you're carrying around the thing that can kill you. Wait, no, this is gold, so I just have to wait. Very, you get, The problem with the gold is that it could be going anywhere. I thought this was diamonds for a second. Anyway. But yeah, my, uh, I'm not really all that bothered by most of it. Uh, you know what? That's not, let's be completely and totally honest with with ourselves here. When someone says that I look terrible, it does bother me. But it's not something that, like, I find particularly important throughout the day. I actually think that bothers me less than when people are like, Oh my god, you're so cute. Somehow that makes me more uncomfortable. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, it's because I'm used to uh, uh, being, I'm used to a negative self-evaluation. Let's put it that way. Regardless, uh, let's talk, I got about 10, 20 minutes, we can talk about the, uh, I'm gonna have backup batteries soon, so this will not, I won't be, like, running on a timer here, but yeah, let's talk about the contest ban, so about one or two years ago, it's really difficult for me to remember, it's, it can't have been more than a year ago, I, I would think, I mean, it can't have been more than two years ago, and it's definitely longer than one year, so somewhere in that area, yeah, all right. Hold on. Let's get this going. All right. All 
But um, about there was a 72 hour jam contest, which uh, I won. But my tactics were not exactly approved by the contest runners. Well, I should say runner. Half of the contest runners were fine with it, it seemed. It seemed. There's a whole story behind that. The other half of it were enraged that I had ruined their contest because I sent several hundred personal messages over Wikidot asking people to read my article. Not telling them how to vote, not asking them, not even asking them for a vote. I think it was just, tell me what your feedback is. Because the uh, contest rules had specifically asked, uh, or, or specifically said that we could ask for as much feedback as we wanted. So that's what I did. There we go. So, I asked for as much feedback as I could possibly do, and me and another guy were doing the exact same thing, actually. We were both sending messages directly to people, asking them uh, to look at our articles. And I won, and the other guy placed second. Except the contest runners, despite us doing absolutely nothing against the rules, decided that he was just going to make a fiat decision, which essentially means that no contest really means anything if they can just change the rules halfway through and go, you're disqualified. But they don't see it that way, and I'm sure the people that have end up winning probably don't see it that way either. The problem with that is that I disagreed with it on like a core basis. I thought that the whole ruling was silly. I thought everything about it was silly, to be honest with you. Um, because I had actually talked to the other contest, there were two contest runners. I talked to the other half of it, and they actually just asked me for, like, you know, tips and tricks on how to do it. And it was, wasn't a, uh, one of those, uh, what you call it? They weren't trying to trick me or anything, you know? It wasn't like, aha, we caught you, you've given us all of your secrets. No, this person legitimately and honestly wanted to know what I was up to. And it gave me the inclination that whatever I was up to was fine. But when the guy contacted me, I was like, you know, I don't know. I, I even said, I was like, listen, uh, okay, yeah, you say stop, I stop. That was that was literally the extent of the conversation originally. The other half of the contest owner was like, I don't want you doing that anymore. So I was like, okay, then I won't. And his response was, okay, cool. And then, and then things uh, escalated, because as they always do. Why are you gonna make this difficult, man? Just die already. And now I'm out of fucking missiles. Alright. Really, only one solution to this is to wait out the police and then. Yeah. Um, so what ended up happening was the uh, other contest runner got mad at me for something different, or I should say something separate. And because of that, he decided, I, I don't think it was a, like a conscious decision on his part. I think he just got mad at me about something else and then thought, you know what? This motherfucker is ruining my contests. And then he does this other thing. You know what? That other thing he did originally ruining my contest was not something I'm willing to brush off and just say, stop doing it and don't do it again. And he essentially escalated it into a actual disciplinary issue. And this person I'm talking about is, let me say, because the problem is, is that if I call him an asshole on my channel here, I'll probably end up getting a disciplinary thing. Yeah, believe it or not, I'll probably get a disciplinary thing on my record in the on the SCP wiki itself. Does that seem strange to you? Then uh, welcome to my world. But anyway, so I'm not going to call him an asshole, but I'm definitely an asshole. And when two assholes run into each other, sometimes things don't go well. I can't remember how to get into this fucking car park. I've had to do this before. <sighs> yeah, when two assholes end up running into each other, things don't always go well for the asshole that has slightly less power. And in this particular case, 
the guy with the most power was the guy running the contest. So he banned me from that contest, disqualified me from that contest, and then... Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, he banned me from the contest, disqualified me from the contest, and then... Nice. Uh, and then I thought that was going to be it. Well, not yet. There was seven. And then they gave me a contest ban of seven contests. And in fact, because I wanted things to be fair originally, because the guy messages me, one of two people doing the exact same thing and says, I can't do it anymore. Now we're in a actual contest of wills. We'd been joking around for days about how, you know, one of us is going to crack. One of us is going to stop first. And I was like, Oh, this doesn't seem fair. And he's like, well, we haven't got any complaints about the other guy. And I'm like, listen, if you're going to make it against the rules, you should at least warn him so that he doesn't end up in, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going to tell me to stop. Somebody else is doing the exact same thing. Probably let him know that it's no longer okay. Uh, but the other guy, but the uh, contest runner thought that that was me being like, well, I, I'm innocent. Look at this other guy. Because I guess that's how children act. And they just expect everybody on the wiki to be acting like children. <laughs> Which I say, you know, it's one of those things, when it comes to the SCP wiki, that is a, pretty much a guarantee. Like There's a 15-year uh, age requirement, and a lot of the uh, SCP wiki staff are actually pretty young. Uh, and they do tend to treat most people as though they do not have the sense that God gave an onion. So, <laughs> um, after it was all said and done with, I remember I said, uh, like, cause at the time I didn't know exactly how many, how many messages I'd sent. And I just took a wild stab at it and said, I think I sent maybe 650. And that just became the number. And then later I was like, no, I, I've looked a little bit closer. It's closer to just a few hundred. Like, no, no, no. Every time it co shows up, it's 650 now. Um, <laughs> which is hilarious. Anyway. Um, and so I was banned from seven contests. The other dude ended up getting banned too, which I thought was just as unfair as me, but probably less so because he did less message sending than I did. But I think they got this idea in their heads because they're... <laughs> I was going to call it... I was going to just say a bunch of fucking morons because they were uh, misunderstanding what I wanted and thought that I was trying to get somebody else in trouble. Uh, they decided that that meant that they couldn't let him go. That, that The point of my thing was that, uh, you know, remember I, I mentioned that the point of my thing was I just want this to be an even keeled thing because at the time I thought I was still going to be in the contest. So if I can't send messages, nobody can send messages. That seems fair. Uh, they took that to mean if I get in trouble, the other person has to get in trouble because that's fair. I didn't think I should get in trouble. I definitely don't think if I, if I don't think I should get in trouble, why do you think? <laughs> Why would I think anybody else should get in trouble? Uh, the, that was the most irritating thing about it to me because loyalty is important to me, and the idea of just like the idea of, <laughs> if I had known, I should have thought about it. Because the thing is, s oh, no, that's not what I want to do. Self promotion on the wiki is barely tolerated by a wide swath of uh, of SCP authors and staff. Um, I mean, it happens, they acknowledge that it happens, they acknowledge it's going to continue to happen, but they just barely tolerate it. And so when you push it, they're like, no, self-promotion is bad. We're not professional writers here. Nobody here wants to be professional writers. We're all hobbyists. By the way, marketing your work is like an incredibly important skill for you to learn if you want to become a good writer. Some of you people, even though I don't do writing advice videos anymore, I still like to give it every once in a while, and that's important for you to understand. You have to learn to market yourself. That's why uh, the first, one of the first or second things I teach people about the, about beginning as writers on the wiki is how to pitch your article ideas. But anyway, we're getting off track here. Point is. I'm sitting here thinking, okay, well, we're I'm ahead. We're both going to have to stop. That's the end of it. I won. 
then, uh, I guess probably more people complained, one of which ended up doing the exact same fucking thing in the next contest, which, and he didn't get into any trouble for it, because he managed to get enough plausible deniability on board. But, um... Yeah. Die, everyone. All right, so they're alerted to me now, but half of them are dead. Last time I did this, I just decided to go in guns blazing and didn't die at all. But this time around, I'll probably end up getting hurt. I got some missiles again now that I docked this and stocked up. And I think they're... I probably only killed one of them. There's another guy. Oh, no, they're both over here. Good. That means there is nothing to deal with. All right. That worked out well. Come on. I have to get on. The <laughs> this is the one bad part about this uh, what, <laughs> fucking rocket bike, which I love it to death, but... It also it has that one issue where if it flips over, you cannot get on it until you flip it back over. All right. Well. So at this point, I'm thinking I've got a seven contest band to go through, and I believe that I would have been eligible for the 5K contest. But about six months ago... The idea that I was not sorry for what I did and that I didn't think that what I did was wrong was treated as evidence that if given an opportunity, I'd do it again. And again, this comes back to treating everyone on the SCP Wiki like they are children, which maybe that's an effective method most of the time, but I really feel like it's kind of an overly simplistic way to treat your player or your user base. But um, what ended up happening was they just, like I said, they decided if you don't think you did anything wrong, we can no longer allow you to participate in any contests whatsoever until you acknowledge that what you've done is wrong. Actually, like, I don't even know they said that. They just said you have a universal ban for forever because you can't acknowledge you did anything wrong. There's an implication there that if I were to be like, yes, what I did was incorrect and against the rules, even though they weren't against the rules and wasn't incorrect. <laughs> that I would see I can't do it I just can't fucking do it and people will be like I can acknowledge when I am wrong because I'm wrong about a lot of stuff I'll tell you what I was wrong about despite the fact that I don't think it was wrong I should have immediately understood and at the time I guess it was just my own stupidity but I did not understand just how hostile people were to the idea of self-promotion and that's on me because regardless of what I think reality should be, it is what it is. Really? God damn it. But yeah, regardless of what I think, I always say this to people is like, I thought I could get both at the same time. It should not be as hard as it is. This is not a difficult puzzle. In fact, this is the easiest one, I think. Um... It's not even a puzzle, it's just timing. I'm not going to risk it. We'll take as long as we need. Um, what you end up learning is that people feel a certain way, and you have to respect that, regardless of whether or not you think they should feel that way. And us sending those messages we thought would be uh, taken in the spirit that it was given of just, oh, those silly guys, they love their self-promotion. But no, it was taken in the spirit of, you guys have no respect for anybody other than yourself. Now, I think that's silly, I think that's stupid, but also, it is what people believe. And it wouldn't be too much of a logical leap from people's previous behavior for me to expect them to believe that. So it's on me to understand what other people are going how other people are going to react to the things I do and say not up to them to understand what I really meant so what I learned is like I said before that really the people in the SCP wiki will always treat people as though they are children because when it comes to down to it like for most people on the SCP wiki that's the best possible option 
that's what comes from having uh, quite a lot of people and staff and uh, on the site as young as they are. A lot of people who believe, if I think it should be this way and it isn't this way, I'm going to flout the rules until it is that way. Which is the main reason I'm banned from all contests ever, because they can't conceive of the idea of someone thinking that... Say, uh, uh, I might not think that alcohol... No, that's not. That's a bad one. I think alcohol should probably be illegal. <laughs> but I might not think that, um, say, should be illegal. But that doesn't mean I'm going to go out there and use it. I'm trying to use vague terminology so I don't get demonetized here. You know what I mean? It's like, that doesn't mean just because I don't think it should be <laughs> legal means I'm going to go out there and tr pretend like it is. Because I'm an adult who understands what consequences are. A lot of people have told me before, too, that if you just apologized, everyone, they would, you know, they'd be fine with it. And I'm like, yeah, but, I mean, I'd have to, I would not be honest if I did so, and, ugh. To be fair, I don't think that would change anything anyway, because they know I wouldn't be honest about it. If I said I was sorry right now, they'd know what I mean, because I'm saying it to you, you know, and I've said it to other people before. I'm not sorry. I'm sorry that... <laughs> I'm sorry they felt that way. That is such a terrible thing to say. That is the worst way to apologize. That's why it's not an apology. <laughs> it's not an apology. I'm sorry they felt that way. That's a terrible... That Someone will be like, that's a terrible apology. I'm not apologizing. Just because you're used to people saying that they're apologizing that way... I'm not. I'm not apologizing. I didn't do anything wrong. My only mistake was uh, not in understanding and respecting other people's wishes. Not in the actual actions itself. What I should have done was realize that despite there were no rules against it, and despite the fact that the behaviors itself were perfectly fine, that me and somebody else were engaging in, that a contest runner actually talked to me about it, and was we were joking around about how, how it was uh, such an effective tactic... And how do I do this in the future if I'm ever uh, in a contest, not just running one? What I should have taken from that is that he had no idea what I was doing. There's no way. He's it's such an insulting thing to that person, right? Like, they had no idea that you what you meant was exactly what you said. They, 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 meant, they thought you meant something else. Fucking people, man. But yeah, the reason why I am... And I'm going to have to phrase this carefully because I already phrased it poorly once and I'm going to have to edit it out. The reason why I'm banned from all contests is because I'm an asshole. And then I met someone else who is the same as me, but with slightly more power and influence. And that meant that I lost. Doesn't mean I was wrong. It just means that somebody else got their way. Anyway, let's pick this up and get the fuck out of here. I think I'm going to keep playing this uh, later today, but I actually stream this on uh, my Discord on a pretty regular basis, so if you're interested in watching that, let me know. Well, not let me know. Show up on my Discord and watch when I'm streaming. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. I appreciate you listening to me rant about contest entries. Uh, head on down, down, and... Uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell next to that so that you're notified when I upload new videos. And finally, head on over to patreon.com forward slash dsumerian and pledge at any level like everybody here on the screen already has. And if you want to see me play more games, uh, give me some suggestions of what you think you would like to see me play. I mean, I'm not going to play this again because it's not an SCP game, but unless there's, like I said, a huge outcry about people asking me to play it. And even if I did, I would probably just be doing this the entire time. So it's not really, not really worth more than one episode. But, <laughs> but I could go back to the Escapists if you guys would like me to do that. Even though that prison that I played in was just SCP themed in the name, it seemed. That's why I didn't play it again this week. Or I could go back to some other SCP actual SCP games like SCP Containment Breach, Secret Laboratory. Uh, what's the other ones? Oh, the Unity remake. I may actually play that next time around because I think there's a patch that's going to make it more stable. I might actually get it and play it and see how it works out. Yeah, I think that'll be my next thing. Thank you very much for watching. Let me know in the comments down below of any other SCP games you'd like me to play or SCP-themed mods for games that already exist. And 
Thanks for letting me know that I'm not alone out here. I'll see you all again on Tuesday.